Welcome to the curvy roads of Siena, where 12 drivers will fight for that sweet victory during the second round of ITGL. Last round's activity managed to grab a 1-2 podium and took P1 in the Osprey combinations. Will we see this kind of consistency again today or will they fail to do so? We started off really strong last week, getting a 1-2, and uh, although we started strong, I was not so confident in this round, since it was in Siena with the Brussel, which is not really my best combination, and uh, I tried to do some basic training laps to get some consistency in, of course. As you can see right now on screen, one of my better laps was a 0.792, which is actually not that great of a lap, but as I said before, this is not my best combination. The qualifier is 10 minutes again. And during this session, I just generally want to do some uh, basic laps, um, get some consistency, get some pace in, and uh, get the lines right for the race, of course, because that's ghosted. During the start, I did not get any good laps in, as I lacked the speed and consistency to do so. But near the end, I got it down to a 32.863. Then I improved on that lap with a 32.825. And a little bit later in the session, I got a 32.769, which was an improvement of my training times. Then in the end, on my second to last lap, I set my best time of a 32.756, which was really good in my opinion at that time. But in the final lap, Minardi came in clutch with an improvement of two thousandths of a second. Please, 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 please. No! <laughs> now for the race it was a simple strategy, a two stop would be sufficient since uh, fuel lasted only 6 laps I believe, 6 or 7 laps. I got a very slow start, almost losing a position to Doghouse immediately, but I quickly regained control and started to push back towards the front. You can see that Minardi is getting away ever so slightly since his pace was really strong this day. And this will be the trend you see during this whole video. Watching Minardi fade away into the distance as I try to keep pushing my own limits. Which believe me, there are a lot of limits this time around. So in lap 6 I did my first stop and we might have a chance to undercut Minardi here, which I just barely am not able to do. And due to the pressure I make some small errors and he keeps it in front of me. The second stop was in lap 13 and Minardi decided to pit as well here, so there were no undercuts this time. And after that the trend just continues, Minardi just keeps getting away since he has really strong pace this race. In the end I am happy that I could keep P2 and keep my lead in the current drivers and teams championship standings. The second race of this round is a reversed grid race on the reversed track of Siena. I believe I got a very strong start, but as race goes on, it starts to get a little sketchy to see where your car is. All of the drivers are clutched together, hence why I put on the marker above my car, because I was just not able to see where my mine was. At lap 3 I find myself in P5 already, Minardi is still pushing behind me though. After a good start and a consistent pace, I am back at the front of the pack with the top 4 of the previous race behind me.
The pressure starts building up though, as we near the first pit stop in lap 6, almost clipping the barrier here on the entry. I also have a bad exit as well, as I need to maneuver my car just around the bollard there. After this pit stop I undercut Minardi for a small advantage, which does not last very long as I hit a penalty and my advantage is gone immediately. On to lap 13 where I for sure messed up. I smack into the pit entry and I lose P1. Because I have damage I lost quite a lot of time and I find myself battling for P3 with Liker right behind me. During lap 17 my pace starts to weaken and I find myself struggling to get back on track. Fighting with Liger and Warl to get that P2. In the end I did hold up to P2. But I for sure was not happy with the collision and the performance of that race. Now to be fair, I don't think that I would have held P1 either because Minardi was just really on pace today and there was nothing we could do about him. Even though I made some mistakes, I do think I wasn't faster. After this round we are leading the team standing still with 132 points before Minardi Simsports who are on uh, 110 points I believe. Fighting for P3, P4 and P5 be behind us are Coffee Beams, Gas Total Racing and Minardi Chimp Sport. In the driver's standings I am on 76 points while Minardi is on 68 points so I'm just doing good there as well. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you tonight on Twitch for the next race of ICSTC.